Hey guys, and welcome back. We're going to be playing a pretty exciting game called Final Homecoming. Uh, I'd like to give you some tips about this game while we are loading. If you cannot get your copy of this game to load, and I will most certainly give you a link over as always, please try setting it in normal mode for your graphics. And that will probably get the game running for you. I am even running on a gaming rig, and I had to set in normal mode. And this is a fairly decent no uh, gaming rig. It was designed with an AMD chip, and was designed to run games. So, it's, you know, it's nothing to have to run in normal graphics mode. Uh, the games... The gaming rigs that can handle the very high graphics are actually several thousand dollar computers, and they're usually out of the reach of the vast majority of gamers unless they are, you know, extremely high tier. So please, you know, do not feel bad if you have to set in normal mode. Okay, um, I went into level selection to show you something that I really love and find uh, pretty innovative about this game. Uh, you can jump into anything at any time here. Um, you can jump into Prologue, the Catacombs, which you reach through Prologue, and so forth and so on. Your entrance, the city, or the bunker. And I am going to jump us back and go into Start. And your options, by the way, are just going to take you into fixing fine-tuning and tweaking. And they will tell you also when you go over that your ending on this game is not going to be the final ending, so they are still working and tweaking as we speak, so if you don't like the ending, current ending now, they're actually going to be working on that. Mouse is super responsive, so are you, so if you do jerk your mouse a bit, do be aware that you may jerk yourself right off the path. I have done that. And you are also re super responsive. WASD for your controls. Mouse to look around, up, down, so forth, and guide you along your path. My number one tip for this game, do not lose the path. Ever. I have lost the path. I have made countless recordings where I just had to look at something for one second to show you guys how awesome it was. And guess what? I never found the path again. It was then 20 minutes of me trying to tell you guys, I'm sure the path is right over here. It would have been one of those horrific survival games where I would have slowly starved to death. And I, I do tend to go... Oh, you don't. You can't control your speed, but I do tend to wobble off the path a little bit from time to time. That's okay. I actually first couple of recordings I I ran this path real smooth, but that's okay. Kind of twisting off the path right now, but as long as you keep to the path and you can see the path, you're fine. Running into a tree. <laughs> Good lord. Sorry about this, guys. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh, dear me. But, you see that house coming out? You do not want to go out of your way to try to visit with the locals. One, they are all bivouacked up because they know more than you do. This is a horror game. So, they know more than you do and they won't interact with you. I tried to get them to interact with me. Um, that wasn't going to happen. And the you know, you will just lose your path. And stopping to admire Mother Nature also made me lose my path. So this is the lose your path level. <laughs> but, you know, overall impressions of this level is it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see everything down to the minor details. If you do go off the path, for example, and you look at the bivouacked houses, they actually have a um, lattice type defense and they have ferns in the defense and you can see the individual leaves in the ferns and you can see down to the tiniest detail. So, you know, well done. They didn't just slap a bunch of vague textures into this game. And this is normal level. 
If you do have a video of this game up at a extremely high level of graphics, do feel free to put a link in below. I do not mind links, as my viewers do know. And you can see it's just an absolutely gorgeous forest area. Now back to the premise of this game. You are a father out conducting the search for his wife and child, which I commend them for. It's more original horror plot. Horror plots usually are seven or eight people out having a good time, and the monster comes and raw. Or it's a young lady trapped somewhere. So it's a more original horror plot, and you are just trying to get your family back here. You want your wife and child back. And... Everything is just so beautiful out here that if I didn't tell you this was a horror game, if I just sat you down in front of the computer and said, okay, mouse to look around, WASD to move, and I didn't even give you an objective, you would probably be wandering around in the forest for hours, and you would come back and tell me a couple hours later, oh, that was so refreshing. What game is that? I want to have my friends play it. My grandma would love that game. <laughs> But, you know, and I don't mean to make generalizations about older gamers, by the way. I know there are older gamers that play many different games. And I know there there's... The world's oldest gamer, I believe she plays, like, uh, Call of Duty and the like. Yeah, I think she does. I think she plays Call of Duty and racing games and things like that. So she probably would be right there with me in this game. Because this is your introductory level, the kind of um, level where you're you're getting used to your controls. You're getting used to the premise that this is a horror game. And you're getting used to how super responsive this is. If you've ever played a racing game, um, the only thing I can say is, you know that level where you have the Ferrari and it's the icy level? That is what sometimes his responses are like. He was running super smooth the first couple times I was recording this, and now he's running like a Ferrari on ice. He's going extremely fast, and he's going slippy slidey, and I'm hardly moving the mouse. But that's okay. That's okay. That's awesome, actually, that he's that super responsive, because that is going to save us later. Trust me. I'm actually glad that he is that responsive. So that is actually a plus. And you can see it's starting to darken gradually. And it's getting more dappled. And you can see that mist is coming up. So that does not bode well for us. And I, I love how natural this game is. It didn't force in a lot of music on us. It didn't force in a lot of ideas of what, you know, horror has to be. It just went very natural, and I want to commend them on that. I really do, because it's very hard to stay natural anymore when uh, it seems a lot of people think horror has to be amped up in high octane. And to keep the level pure like that, to keep it the nature setting, to just have the experience be having the camera and be out here and know you're searching for your family. Extremely well done, bravo. I'd say 10 out of 10. I will give you the link below and we are going to enter here. And you can see it's just the juxtaposition between all this natural beauty and this tomb. And we're going to enter here. And this tomb is going to load here for us. And this is going to take us to our next level. So if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys like this, I'm going to take us on to the next level. Take us on to the catacombs. Though, we all know me. If this comes to a lot of ducky dodgy around corners, I don't know how far I'll get. We all saw me try to play um, uh, Joy of Creation Reborn. But I will do my level best for you. So if you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. And I will give you the link over. And this has been... Um, 
Final Homecoming, and I really, really enjoy this, and I do not know what happens. I have not played the whole game through yet, uh, but a really exciting game, and a 10 out of 10 for a start like that. It's not, you know, overblown. There was not a ton of music on that level. Um, looks like the music now is still going to be minimalistic, so very well done for not being over the top, having stuff fly at us. Uh, it's nice to see the old school premise of horror coming back, where it's more subtle and it's more mature. That it doesn't have to be, you know, out there in your face to be frightening. So well done. And this is Nightcat signing off. Bye bye.